Hello, and welcome back, Pokemon Trainers! In our last episode, we beat up Lieutenant Surge and his gym, which is a little surprising considering the Pokemon that we're using. And then we uh, did a little bit of business backtracking over towards Viridian City and Pewter City, and we're here in Cerulean because we have to go east. And finally, we're able to cut down this tree. You can't hold me back, tree. And we hit Route 9, which is going to have a few trainers on it. I'm going to try and avoid as many as possible. I kind of don't want to battle too much right now. Because my Pokemon are going to crush everything that stands in their path. We're going to crush our enemies. Crush your enemies. See them driven before you. And hear the lamentation of their women. You deceived me. Holy crap, Picnic or Elysia. You had the most annoying bell sprout in the history of existence, and I have to go back and hit the Pokemon Center. I missed like five attacks on that bell sprout, and then got poisoned and wrapped <laughs> and wrecked. Like, if. I, I guess that's where grass Pokemon become strong. If your opponent is really unlucky and misses a bunch of moves that really should hit and you just you just status affect the crap out of them then yeah okay sometimes grass Pokemon can do okay jeez that was that was rough that was, that was a rough battle that was that was like as difficult as lieutenant surge was and it had no right being as hard as it was <laughs> poor Leonardo that that seemed like it was painful Gonna jump down here and grab TM40 Aerial Ace. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to let him turn. Turn. Oh, he faked me out. Bwah ha 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 ha! Great, I was bored, eh? I was bored, eh? Let's have a battle, eh? Uh, screw you, Hiker Jeremy. I'm gonna crush you. Keep it coming, eh? Oh wait, I'm out of Pokemon! A? So how Canadian is this guy supposed to be? Because he says A a lot. Stereotypical Canadian, I should- Oh, come on! Who's that walking there with those good-looking po- Are you hitting on me? Or my Pokemon? That's a little creepy, kid. Yeah, Camper Chris, you, uh... You do you, man. You do you. Okay, now that that pervert is done, uh... What? What a total waste of time! Yeah, exactly! Exactly! Those are my thoughts exactly, sir. Okay, so, we want to come up into this northwest corner and look at this rock, because inside of this rock is an ether. Ethers are very important, because you can never, ever, ever buy them in Pokemarts, for some reason. Anyway, they restore the PP of your moves, which is very helpful. Can you look, like, like, just look to the left, or the up, or the not my way, please? Come on, man, be a bro, look away. Look away. Look, look, over there! Over there! It's a bug! It's a bug! Oh, whatever. I'm gonna crush you. Go, my super bug Pokemon! <laughs> my bug Pokemon is so cool, guys! Look at my bug! Well, a Venonat, at least, at least the Venonat was different. Don't look, don't look, no, no, turn around. Don't you look at me. Don't you ever look at me. Okay, uh, I came to this northeast corner because somewhere up here, I, there it is, rare candy. 
there is a rare candy just kind of lying there, hidden. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't have to talk to you. Okay, Route 9 is gone. There there are still more trainers there, but I don't, I don't feel like talking to them. Route 10. Uh, Route 10 introduces new Pokemon for us. You can find in Route 10 a Voltorb. So, uh, Voltorb is a pure electric-type Pokemon with abilities of either soundproof or static. And, um... Stat-wise, this Pokemon is mainly based around being fast. It has a very high speed stat. The rest of its stats don't really take advantage of it, unfortunately. Speed is generally supposed to be coupled with good offensive stats, and as you can see, Voltorb's got pretty low attack, not very great special attack, so he can't really make use of that speed too well. When he evolves at level 30 into Electrode, however, its special attack gets bumped up a little bit more, and it's actually able to put out a little bit of damage. Its speed, on the other hand, goes through the roof. It's a very, very fast Pokémon. There are very few Pokémon that get this fast in the entirety of the game, even with all of the new Pokémon generations that have been added. So, if you're looking for a very fast Pokémon, Voltorb and Electrode are even faster, even more so, than D Ditto and Doug Trio. Oh, I've only got 19. I need 20 for the Everstone. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, so, um, that that's pretty much Voltorb and Electrode. There was, there's not a lot to say about them, unfortunately. So, uh, you can find one of Professor Oak's aides up here in this particular little area. And, um, actually, I just thought of something. And we're going to need Flash. And I should have thought of this a long time ago. So here's what I'm going to do. I think Bellsprout can learn it? Let's find out. Let's find out. I believe that I'm going to have a Bellsprout temporarily in here. And if not Bellsprout, then I've got... I got ideas. Bellsprout can learn Flash, I thought so. So yeah, we're going to teach this Bellsprout Flash. It's going to hang with us for the time being. Heck, it can learn Cut too, can't it? It's just better than Rattata, isn't it? Sure is. <laughs> oh well. Let's teach it Cut as well, yeah. Get get out of here, Rap. Get out of here, Rap. I don't care. Maybe this Bellsprout should be my HM slave instead of Rattata. It can learn, like, Rock Smash as well. <laughs> oh well, for the time being, this Bellsprout will be in our party. And just, just kind of hanging with us. In fact, Radita, get out of the party. What's wrong with you? I might actually just bring Bellsprout with me from now on instead of Radita, because, uh... It can learn Flash and Radita cannot. Which is kind of big. I wasn't. I didn't even. I wasn't even thinking about Flash when I was thinking of making an HM slave. And the fact that Bellsprout can learn the, all of the HMs Radita can plus Flash, it's pretty good. Okay, so we can actually avoid that little girl right there by uh, cutting down this tree. Thanks, Bellsprout. You're infinitely better than that useless Radita that I once had. And I think there's probably hidden item around here somewhere. Um. I think it's... Uh, maybe not. Was it, like, next to her? No? Oh. It, it was close. To, it was close to the trainer. Okay, I thought so. I knew there was something close to the trainer. Anyway, we are once again entering a dungeon. So if you guys recall, last time our last dungeon was Mount Moon. Mount Moon was a pretty big area for us to search around and took a while. So let's do the exact same thing in the Rock Tunnel. And uh, here's what it looks like when you don't have Flash available. And I do not have the dungeon memorized, so we're going to go ahead and uh, make sure that our we have a flashy Pokemon. And Bellsprout will Flash for us. Bellsprout's good to flash us. So, and now we can actually see where we're going, thank goodness. If I if I actually, like, memorize the entire layout of this place, then I wouldn't have to do the, that. Um, we're not going to use a Repel. The reason being is that there's a couple new Pokemon in here that we can find. First of all, 
one of the new Pokemon we can find is an Onix, with only a 5% chance of finding one, so that's pretty low. So, Onix is a rock and ground type Pokemon with the abilities of Rockhead or Sturdy. Rockhead prevents recoil damage from most moves, and Sturdy prevents any one-hit KOs. Um, Onix stat-wise is weak overall, but with one very, very obvious and strong strength, and that is the fact that his defense is through the ceiling, off the charts high. Onix has an insanely high defense stat, which allows it to take physical punishment like no other Pokémon. And um, if, if you're looking for a straight-up defensive Pokémon, Onix is pretty darn good. Now, the only way to get Onix to evolve into its evolution, which was added in Johto, Steelix, is to trade it while it is holding a metal coat. However, doing so is certainly worth the effort, because Steelix is a steel and ground type Pokémon, once again, abilities Rockhead and Sturdy available to it, where Onix is highly defensive with poor stats, Steelix is highly defensive with decent stats. Um, it gains a pretty okay attack stat, making it able to actually dish out damage, in addition to being able to take it. Uh, its HP gets buffed even further, and its defense is just ridiculous. The amount of defense that a Steelix has puts Onyx to shame, almost, with how much higher it is. Like, a 40 base stat difference is already high. And then when you're at a super high stat, and then you add 40 more, you get Steelix. So if you're looking for a purely defensive Pokémon, then pick up an Onyx, trade, trade it with a Metal Coat to get a Steelix, and you've got a very powerful Pokémon on your hands that can take a punch like crazy. The other Pokémon family that we can find here in the Rock Tunnel is actually the one that I'm currently searching for, and that is the fighting type, Machop. So, Machop is, like I said, a pure fighting type Pokémon. Its uh, base stats are actually not too bad. It has pretty okay HP, its attack is decent, the other stats a little bit less so. Uh, Munchop comes with the ability Guts, which g gives it 50% more attack when it's under a status condition, such as being paralyzed, or being burned, or being uh, confused. Sleep wouldn't really matter? Or whatever. Anyway, I'm not going to go over Munchop's evolutions, because I plan to use Munchop on my team. Yes, I want to catch capture a Munchop and use that on my team. We're getting a new Pokémon, guys! if I can stop running into Geodude and Zubat long enough to find one. I'm kind of just running around up here because um, on the basement floor below this, we have a 5% lower chance of finding a Machop, and I really want to just kind of find this Machop and put it on my team as soon as possible. So if this starts taking a little bit lo too long to find one, I'm going to fast forward us, maybe do a little bit of a skip forward. In the meantime, I'm just going to talk and we'll maybe come up with some entertainment for us. Um, I really want a Machop. Oh boy! Finally! You do not want to know how long that took. That was too long. It was way, way, way too long. Oh, okay. Machop! 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 Let's see, I'm kind of scared of hitting it, especially with Thunderbolt, so I'm actually going to swap out. We're going to see a Pokémon that's not on my bank. We're going to throw Bellsprout out, and it's going to throw a couple of hits into this Machop to make it a little bit easier for us to catch. Um, you know, if you're doing like a normal playthrough, guys, and you're using as many Pokémon as you want, then you probably have a little bit of an easier time of uh, catching stuff, not to mention the fact that fighting types, not very good against grass type overall. Critical hit, okay. Machop's below 50%, it's paralyzed, this should be an easy catch. Let's get it. Let's get him onto our team so we can do stuff to him. Come here, Machop. Get on the team. One, two, three. <gasps> yeah! First try. Awesome. Machop actually has a pretty good catch rate, so you're likely to get him on your first try. Loves to build its muscles. It trains in all styles of martial arts to become even stronger. 
Now, I'm not going to give a nickname to Muchop right now because I want you guys to give a nickname to Muchop. And now is the time. If you guys have any nicknames for any of the Pokemon that are currently on my team that you see in my little team builder thing right now, any of them, except for Wartortle, that's the only one I'm going to say no to. If you have a nickname for any of them, now is the time. We were about to hit Lavender Town. Lavender Town has the name Raider in it and will allow us to actually change our nickname for our Pokemon. And we're going to hit that really soon. It's like right outside of Rock Tunnel, guys. So if you want to nickname any of my Pokemon, you want to see your name or any name at all on these Pokemon, now's the time to uh, throw in your suggestions and we will be re we will be nicknaming them very shortly. So I'm going to put Machop in the front of the party. Bellsprout, or my HM slave, whether it's Bellsprout, Rattata, whatever the heck it is, will always be in the back of the party because you, you, put them, you put them as far away from the action as possible. They're not supposed to be in there. So yes, we will be using the fighting type Machop. I've actually never used... Um... I've never used a Munchop on my team before. And I'm I'm excited. I'm excited for the experience of using a Munchop on my team into its uh, evolutions. Which which we will see. We will see those evolutions. I make I make this I make this promise to you. Oh sure. Sure. Now you're just gonna throw Munchop at me. Um You know, quite honestly, I think I'm gonna pop our uh, our repels now. Because now that I have the Munchop, I don't have much reason to not have that going. Let's bike it up. Let's bike it up. So you see these uh, weird crumbly rocks here that are obviously different from the normal sprites. We can't do anything with them quite yet. But we will do stuff with them in the future. I draw illustrations of Pokemon when I'm home. Well, la -dee da how very nice for you. Aren't you artsy and fartsy? I'm rude to these trainers for no reason whatsoever. Oh, come on, Slowpoke, you gotta throw a, a Psychic type at my Machop. Well, darn. We will use the ancient technique of switching our, po our front Pokemon out into another Pokemon that can easily handle our opponent so that we can get our front Pokemon some experience. Now Thunderbolt his face off. Thank you, Static Shock. That's lovely. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's... Ah. Oh. Oh, that's very lovely. I'm exhausted. Yeah, you're exhausted. You're exhausted, Mr. I I'm gonna throw my Pokemon out. They're gonna get completely destroyed. Oh, God. Okay, so there's gonna be more Pokemon trainers uh, as we go along. Hopefully... Hopefully, there won't, they won't take too long to deal with. As always, we will be fast-forwarding through them. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, we're gonna we're gonna cure that paralysis on Leonardo. I don't I don't really feel like running around being paralyzed. It's it's rather not fun. Can you can you like not see me if I go all the way over here, please? Please? Oh oh. Oh, well, I'm glad we could come to an understanding there. Oh, that hiker's going to see Well, this is this is an impasse. I can't get past them without battling at least one of them. Hit me with your best shot, so we'll go with the better one. I like this guy. Fire it away! <laughs> I love that hiker. You know, I'm, uh, I've actually just recently thought about it, and I've realized I have not checked the nature of my Machop, and I'm kind of interested in what it is. I'm really hoping it's a nature that increases attack. If it's a nature that decreases attack, I'm going to be a rash nature. Rash nature. 
Okay, I just checked it. A rash nature's not the best, not the worst. Increase special attack, decrease special defense. Eh, fine by me. I mean, special attack can be a little bit useful. There are some moves that we might be able to teach our Machop and its evolutions uh, that we could take advantage of with special attack, yes. Alright, Hiker Oliver, like, why? Why you guys gotta be set up so I can't get by you? Come on. Alright, so Munchop leveled to 19 and has learned Seismic Toss as a result, so that's pretty interesting. For those wondering what Seismic Toss does, it does uh, damage equal to your Pokémon's level. 100% of the time, so if you have a level 100 Pokémon, then it's going to do 100 damage no matter what. Doesn't matter the typing or the, uh, the stats of your opponent's Pokémon, always 100. So not bad. It's a, it's an, it's an interesting type of move, which has its merits. Ah, oh, more trainers, more trainers! Bring it on! I will murder everyone that I have to on my journey through this area. One more Picnicker down. Let's uh, let's actually heal up my Pokemon just a little bit. They're looking a little, a little roughed up here. Just a little, just a little bit roughed up. Had a had a few battles on our way through the rock tunnel so far. There's a trainer's galore in here, and of course, uh, Pikachu and uh, Wartor Static Shock and Leonardo, I should say, have gotten a little bit of. A a little worse for wear because I'm swapping much up in and out. Ha 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 ha, could you beat my power? Yes I can. Yes I can. And I will. Prepare. Alright, Machop's level 21 already. This this is going a lot faster than I expected. I was not expecting him to level up so quick, but he is getting the brunt of experience when it comes to these bad Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Just eyes trained on the area. Oh, I have to I have to battle her. Alright, we're almost out. We're get, we're getting close. You have Pokemon! Let's start! Yeah! Like, like, what is wrong with these random trainers? Do you have Pokémon? Oh, we're gonna fight to the death now. It makes no sense. None. You should know when you're outclassed. Okay, so Pearl, uh, straight to the left of these picnickers. Uh, I don't know, I spaced out for a second, just stopped talking for no reason. I was still in, oh hey, we're in battle mode, and I wasn't even talking to myself for... I'm, I'm on autopilot at this point. I'm ready to be out of Rock Tunnel, and uh, luckily, we're almost out. I think Picnicker Dana is the last one holding the exit hostage from us. You know what? I'm gonna talk through this. We're gonna watch this one. Uh, payday. Good job, me. I'll get karate chopped in the face. Ah! I think, I think I'll, I'll talk us through this battle. And you know, the base, my basis, uh, basics, bleh, my basic feelings on how it is when we get this foresight. No, I don't want foresight. Let's take a look at what foresight does. Completely negates the foe's efforts and to heighten its ability to evade. 
you know, I'm, I mean, it allows you to deal with double team well, which is okay for the main playthrough, but it's fine. Whoops. I meant to say stop learning. Yes, I accidentally hit no. Some, Sometimes you do that. All right, so, uh, yeah, we're going to keep Machop in just so it gets the experience, because he is going to be an integral part of our team, as, uh, you know, as all of my Pokemon will. I'm not, I'm not going to have any... Whoa. Okay, Leonardo's in. Um, good job. Get punched in the face now, Pidgey. Great idea. You just brought my strongest... Well, never mind. I missed. All right, we got him. Punch Pidgey so hard in the face. Make it like a big anime punch where you punch him in the face and he flies back like 20 feet really fast and leaves a crater in the wall. That's kind of how I imagine it is when you, like, get a critical hit on a Pokemon. Is, like, if you get a critical hit on a Pokemon with a Mega Punch, that's exactly what I imagine. Either that or, like, a punch from One Punch Man. Which is even more brutal. That's a punch that just disintegrates their molecules. <laughs> punch them and they disappear. They just get re re erased. They get erased from existence. Oh, come on. Did you have to poison me? Did you have to poison me, Oddish? <laughs> Jesus. Kick it. Mega kick it. Punish it for the poison. Yeah! Picnicker Dana defeated. I'm out of Pokemon. Yes, yes you are. You're also out of luck, and uh, I'm very... I'm going to have to do horrible, terrible things to you for making me use this antidote. You know how much that cost? That was like 150, 250 poke dollars. Rock Tunnel, Cerulean City to Lavender Town. Which we're finally, finally at the end of, and we're going to pop another repel because I don't feel like being interrupted by a wild Pokemon. We got eight more anyway. Finally, let me out, let me out. Daylight Route 10 again. This is the southern side of Route 10. Now there's a bunch of trainers over that way. I don't feel like it. Turn around. Turn around, nerd. Turn around, nerd. Fine. Alright, we got we got hey kid. You wanna see my Pokemon? Dude, d can you say that in a creepier way, please? I only had a slight inkling to call the police. Say it in a creepier way so that I know I have to go get Officer Jenny to arrest your ass. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're gonna talk through this battle too. Screw it. I don't feel like... I know that future Thor isn't going to want to edit this, so we're just gonna, not gonna edit it that much now. Yeah, deal with it. So, uh, we're gonna water gun that Cubone because it's ground type, obviously. And it's getting wrecked, and we're not getting a lot of experience from this guy. Slowpoke, I, I don't even want to waste the time of throwing much up in and swatch it, sw swatching over to Static Shock. Yes, swatching. Uh, we're just going to throw Static Shock out there, and we're going to fry the crap out of this Slowpoke. We're going to make some roast Slowpoke tail and eat it. Which, if anyone has played the second generation of games, they were... Team Rocket had a, a an evil plot where they were cutting off Slowpoke tails and eating and selling them as a, a delicious delicacy. So apparently, people do eat Pokemon. I mean, it's even said that far-fetched are hunt, hunted to near extinction, so... And... Lavender Town! Finally! Alright, Poke Center. Pokemon Center is the first thing we have to do. Boom, 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 boom. Ding, 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 ding. I think I'm gonna take this Bellsprout as my, uh, my HM sleeve from now on. Or at least it, it certainly seems like I will. So Lavender Town, first thing I want to do is we're going to listen to the music. Oh yeah, that's nice and that's nice and a little bit creepy. And now that we've made it here to Creepy City, Lavender Town, let's go rent a room somewhere. We're going to hang out in Lavender Town for a little bit, because that's the end of our episode. It took a little while to get through Rock Tunnel, because it's a relatively long little dungeon section. 
with a lot of trainers to run through and some Pokemon to deal with. So, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. In our next episode, we're going to uh, look around Lavender Town a little bit. Maybe have a little bit of shenanigans going on. And uh, so I hope you guys stay tuned and send in your Pokemon names. Come on, give, give me all your Pokemon nicknames. Now is the time. The time is nigh. See you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. Bye-bye. Send in your nicknames or else.